Hey everyone, my name is Julianne and I'm coming at you live from my home office in San Jose, California. I want to talk about what I hate, what I hate more than anything. And I'm going to wait a little bit for some of you to jump on. And I don't usually use the word hate a whole lot, but I feel convicted. I can feel convicted to share with you something that I hate so much, something that trapped me, something that was so a part of my life on a daily basis. And you know what? Such a daily basis that it happened more than once a day. Something that trapped me, something that my value and my worth was determined in. And it allowed me to feel so defeated, so broken, so insecure, and devastated. An item that controlled me, an item that I would look forward to seeing, but yet would make me feel so bad every day. An item that I would wake up and run to, and yet it always left me feeling like I wasn't enough. It allowed me to feel terrible. And that item is the scale. I think, yes, it's a good tool of measurement when it's used in that way, but I feel convicted by this and I feel super inspired to inspire you and help you get away from that freaking thing because I know the way that that scale made me feel. And it's not worth it. It's not worth, thank you, Tina. It's not worth putting all your energy and worth and value in that inanimate, inanimate object. Is that how you say it? An object that can have so much power over you and your worth and your well-being. And the people that I work with, this is one of my main goals for them is to focus on how you're feeling. Focus on your energy. Focus on your sleep. Don't think that these exercises, workout programs, and shakes work only because you're seeing a scale drop in size and number. They work. You don't need a scale to prove that. If you are eating healthier and you are moving your body, so much more is about to happen for you. The scale plays so many tricks on our minds. You guys, I'm getting strong. I don't know if you can see my muscle, but there's like, there's a line here. It's just bad lighting. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm serious, but I'm like feeling sculpted. If I were to jump on the scale right now, I bet I would be disappointed. I bet because I'm lifting so much more and I feel so strong. My sleeping is amazing. I'm waking up at 4.30, crushing it. And I am full of energy. Clearly, look at me right now. And... I'm not about to let a scale determine if the program I'm doing and the food that I'm eating is working. I don't need that scale to let me know that. I trust my body. I'm, I'm, I'm focusing and channeling how I'm feeling and, and what my daily life is looking like all because I am eating healthy and I'm following a really awesome program. So. I, I want you to hate the scale too in, in the way that if you're checking it every single day and you're checking it three times a day like I was, first of all, that's not healthy. Second of all, that's going to fluctuate all the time. And third of all, you are going to start putting all of your worth and value into that inanimate object and you're not going to be focusing on the healthy lifestyle choices that you're making because I can tell you this. 10 years from now, 20 years from now, you're going to be so happy that you focus on your health and well-being. At the end of the day, no one should even care how much I weigh. I shouldn't even care how much I weigh. It's seriously, I mean, yes, if it's dangerous, don't misquote in the sense of like, I get it. Like, we don't want to be unhealthy so much where it causes a heart attack or things like that. That's not what I'm talking about. That's a totally different story. But I mean, like, in your soul, like if you're finding that you, this is your, your master, the scale, there's a problem. 
these programs in Shakeology work. You don't need a scale to make that real or not. That's not what's going to prove that it's right or wrong is that scale. You just following along on the program and doing it will get you to that next point. So I just had to share that on my heart because when you join me, I am very, very determined to show you guys that there's so much more value in working on your health. There's so much more value in putting superfoods into your body and to, to getting enough sleep and to getting enough water that you can legitimately feel like a completely different person. So I don't own a scale. I threw it away. Um, I'm going to have to redo my license and I don't even know what to put on that number. I don't think it's bad to check. Um, I suggest if you're starting a program, you check it in the beginning of your program and then at the very end of your program. I don't think checking it every day during your program is going to help. I feel like it's going to make you feel defeated and you're not trusting the process. This is not a quick fix. I like this quote. A lot of people do anything to lose weight except eat healthy and work out, which is super funny because that used to be me. I was all in it for the quick fixes. What's the easiest and quickest way to make that number smaller um, so I felt better about myself? But did I feel better about myself? No. It has nothing to do. You know what? I've met people who have been 115 pounds that are completely unhappy with who they are and how much they weigh. I've met people who are 230 pounds and completely unhappy with how much they weigh. Uh, it's not the number. It's totally what's going on in here. And if you're moving your body and you're putting superfoods into your body and you're done making excuses you're gonna feel like a totally different person. I work with people all the time and the number one excuse I hear is money or time, whatever. I laugh, cause I'm like, dude, like you're not getting it. Like, why are you putting your health off? Like, why are you not making that a priority? When you start taking care of yourself, talk about this being expensive. What about illness? What about those hospital bills? Don't you wanna be around for your kids? Like, don't you want to live like a full, fulfilled life? Like, even if I die tomorrow, God willing, like, God pleasing, like, that's all up to God. But, like, I want to know that I was my healthiest self for other people. This is a lifestyle change. And it, Becca, boom, like, drop the mic, I'm done here. It's not a lifestyle change, not just an image change. It's so true. And it's just so much even more than um, looking good and feeling good in pictures and around other people. But, like, you guys, it's your life. It's, like your heart that's legitimately physically pumping in your body, your brain function. Shakeology helps with brain function. Um, superfoods help with your brain function, that you reduce your anxiety, your depression. You get off medications that are probably helping one part of your body but causing effects in another part of your body, right? Like there's, this can do so much more for you. But my biggest thing is get away from that scale. That is not your value. That is not your worth. And I can say that from experience because I can tell you, I would check that thing every time I would go to the bathroom, every time I was in the bathroom. I found a lot of my worth and value in that number and it made me feel like crap. I'm away from that now. I don't care how much I weigh. Honestly, I don't even know how much I weigh. That's the most freeing thing ever. Um, I feel awesome. So how much do you weigh? I feel awesome is what I'm going to say. Um, man, it feels good to say that because I was trapped for so long, so long. It was a nasty battle of yo-yo dieting, calorie counting, checking the scale every two seconds to find my worth, um, under eating, overeating, binge eating, just crazy stupid stuff that made me feel like crap. No more. And for you... Yeah, the scale was and still my enemy, consistent battle. And Allie, I'm determined as your mentor and friend to help you get away from that. And the biggest way you can get away from that is when you're working out and you are eating healthy, you're going to start to feel better. You're going to start to think better. And you're just going to overall start to like get away from that scale. It's a process for women. When I first became a coach, it didn't happen overnight. In fact, when I first became a coach, I was checking it all the time. And I'd feel defeated and all this other stuff because I wanted a quick fix because that's what I was used to. And then over time, I was learning more about how I was feeling and channeling that and making choices that were better for me. And now I can, I'm scale free. I've been scale free for a while now and it's freeing. And so my 
mission and my excitement and my purpose has a lot to do with teaching you all to get away from that freaking thing. And I will do everything in my power to help you with that. And a lot of my accountability groups are about that. I straight up say that. I had a coach message me and feeling really sore and checked the scale and has lost three pounds. And I said, look, if you keep checking that thing, you're going to feel defeated because you're working on you're working out with a lot of resistance, your muscle's going to start to build. And yeah, you might lose 10 pounds and stuff, but what happens if you gain five? Are you going to stop? Are you going to quit? Stop checking it. Check your scale in the beginning of your program and then at the end to measure it. But I'm telling you right now with my program, if I were to look at the scale, I'd probably be like, what? But I've never felt better in my life. I don't care. Hey, Haley, thanks for stopping by. Oh, girl. Hey, you know what? I invest a lot right here. I never used to, but this became important to me to conquer my mindset because I was my worst critic and would rip myself apart every time I went to look at myself in the mirror, um, comparing myself to other people. Um, it took a lot. And my mission and purpose as a beach body coach is to help you guys. And these programs work. They're real. They're not like you sweat, like you actually have to work for it. And the superfoods in the Shakeology is going to change your life. You'll be convicted by that, like 100% natural. 70 plus superfoods, that will change your life, help your brain function, help your, it's healing your body from the inside out. It's amazing. But working on your mindset, the confidence on the go has changed my life. I can't stop listening to the podcast. I downloaded the podcast app, Confidence on the Go, Oh, so good. Haley, you should message me. I would love to chat with you. Allie, thanks for doing that. I challenge you to listen to Confidence on the Go every single day instead of watching TV or making excuses of why you don't have time for it. Like while you're doing the dishes, fold your laundry, listen to Confidence on the Go and repeat positive things to yourself, positive affirmations. I am enough. I am enough. I am beautiful. I am a redeemed child of God saved by grace. Like you have to once you start convincing yourself of that, you're going to start believing it. So if you're treating your body like crap, putting crap into your body, you're going to think like crap and feel like crap. But if you're putting good things into your body and you are thinking better, you're going to start to feel amazing. Becca, thanks for posting. Oh my gosh, thanks for sharing your wisdom and thanks for sharing your love and support. You both are difference makers. Look at that. You're helping each other right now. You're relating to each other. This whole coaching thing and social media, I hope that you guys all see that it's sh me showing you what I'm doing, that I know that has worked for me, that I want to help you too. Um, but it's amazing that you too just did that. That fills my cup. All right, have an amazing day. That was a thought that I had of I hate what I hate more than anything. And when I see women struggling with it, it eats at my core because that was me. And I don't want you to ever find your worth in that. I want you to start looking at your health in a different light of, man, I know that if I take care of myself, I'm going to be a happier version of myself. I know if I start taking care of myself, I'm going to be more present in my kids' lives. I know if I start taking care of myself, I'm going to start treating other people better, treating myself better. When you start taking care of your health the right way, you are going to be a better person instead of trying to chase these quick fixes that only changes scale because oh, I will talk to you all later. Thanks for stopping by in my thoughts, Tina, you rock and yay for super Saturday. I'm taking Eric with me tomorrow. My friend, Bobby, we're all going to a super Saturday, like an hour away. Um, but I'm excited about it. All right, you guys crush it today. Crush your goals. Talk to you later.